With February being Black History Month, we want to know if you know the answer to this question. You ready for it? Who is Johnny Bright? Well, he's a Fort Wayne native who will be featured in a new documentary this week, and our Amelia Miles has his story. He was an all-around star. I have wanted to be a filmmaker, storyteller ever since the third grade. Gerald Harkness. I, I love telling authentic stories with real people. He found a person named Johnny Bright, a trailblazer for black people in sports. We, as we started filming the interviews, people were so moved by his story and, and the legacy that he left behind that it is a very emotional story. The story began right here in Fort Wayne at Fort Wayne Central High School, where he played basketball, ran track, and his favorite, played football. He then attended Drake University, where he played football. Bright was considered a local celebrity in Iowa at a time when black players were sometimes banned from teams. He even was the front runner to win the Heisman Trophy in the year of 1951. But that all changed. It's my understanding that Johnny Bright did believe that the incident was racially motivated. A game against Oklahoma A&M. The game begins, and according to the Des Moines Register, in less than 15 minutes, Bright's Heisman Trophy dream was shattered, quite literally, with a forearm to his jaw. He felt that he was a bit of a sacrificial lamb in that the game of college football became safer because of uh, the incident. Not only were the rules changed, but the face mask Bright wore after his jaw was broken, it became a prototype for masks worn today. He didn't give the negativity, the discrimination and the racism that he faced. He didn't give that a lot of energy. Um, he, he understood that that was part of the era, part of the, the, the time that he lived in, but he didn't let anything deter him from achieving the goals that he had always set out to achieve. Bright died of a heart attack at the age of 53. Harkness tells me if he could speak to Bright today, he would express his true gratitude. I'm just beyond blessed and grateful and fortunate and privileged to have played a role in, in bringing his story to a national audience. Amelia Miles, 21 Alive News.